We all want images with soul. Our desire to create them is fueled by our nostalgic past. A past coated in emotion and suffused with chromatic admiration. We strive to evoke even just a fraction of the feeling that the images which built our foundations could achieve. The look of anamorphic lenses is intrinsically linked to our DNA. Many of our favorite films were shot with this unique type of lens, and it left a subconscious mark on our minds. Up until the first decade and a half of the 21st century, anamorphic lenses were only accessible to those with massive budgets. But by the 20s, they began to become extremely affordable. And by the mid-20s, we had entered the golden age of anamorphics. are the Lawa Nanomorphs, and they are a true engineering achievement. Anamorphic lenses are typically large, heavy, soft, and cannot focus closely. The Nanomorphs are the exact opposite in every regard. Incredibly small and light 1.5x anamorphic lenses. These were the lenses that I had been dreaming about. Coming in at less than 400 grams each, and the size of a standard LDAT cartridge, these were the smallest and lightest anamorphic lenses on the planet, and despite their incredible size, they were beautiful lenses. They cover a wide range of focal lengths, 27, 35, 50, 65, and 80, with a constant 2.4 aperture over the full range. They also come in a plethora of different mounts as well. E, X, Z, L, RF, DL, MFT, EF, and PL. I strongly believe that 1.5X was the most versatile squeeze factor for anamorphics. The squeeze factor of an anamorphic determines how wide of an image you'll get. You take your horizontal resolution and you multiply it by 1.5 to get your new resolution and aspect ratio. Unless you had a camera with an open gate mode, 1.5 is the perfect balance of anamorphic characteristics and a normal aspect ratio when paired with a 16 by 9 sensor. The nanomorphs display fantastic anamorphic character. The bokeh is quite oval shaped and the lens flares are nice without being over the top. They also exhibit pin cushion distortion. Most people associate the anamorphic look with barrel distortion, but even some of the most sought after anamorphic lenses, including the Cooks, have prominent pin cushion distortion. You could get these lenses in blue, amber, and silver flares. As for me, I got the blue flares. They have a decent amount of complexity with a strong blue streak with direct point sources. There's also a bit of rainbow refraction as well, giving it a nice vintage feeling. I think the flares are quite nice. Not only are these the smallest anamorphics I've ever seen, they also have the closest focus of any I've encountered. Close focus is the Achilles heel of anamorphic lenses. Due to their inherent design, anamorphic lenses cannot focus very closely. The nanomorphs have a newly designed optical formula that both reduces the size of the lenses and allows for exceptionally close focus for anamorphic lenses. The 27mm focuses to just 43 centimeters, the 35 focuses to 60 centimeters, and the rest of the set at 70 centimeters. Due to this optical design, they also maintain their 1.5x squeeze ratio over the entire focus range. 
Easily the greatest aspect of these lenses is their size. They are absolutely minuscule compared to other lenses. They are the only anamorphics that I would ever want to take traveling anymore. But what makes them so amazing is that despite their size, they are still fantastic lenses. These lenses open up a world of possibilities for anamorphic shooting. Their weight and size are almost an afterthought when packing them into a bag. You can take these literally anywhere and get the incredible anamorphic texture we all strive for. They can easily be mounted on drones as well, further opening up possibilities. In the 20s, you knew if these were the lenses for you. You would have been like me, dreaming of the day where mere mortals could own an anamorphic, and when you could have one so small and easy to use that you could literally take it with you at all times. It's absolutely amazing what they have been able to achieve with these lenses. They're the smallest, lightest, and closest focusing anamorphics exuding with character. This exceptional engineering was what justified their $1,000 price tag. <laughs>